This is my Harrison Universal milling machine, which as you might be able to spot, has been converted to CNC operation. I have a gear cutting job coming up, and I've thought of a way to make setting that job up a bit easier, which is the point of this video. The Universal in the machine name indicates that the table swings. This makes it especially good for gear hopping, though I'm not sure what the intended purpose was. I suspect it was for spinal milling to make special drills and such, with a dividing head geared to the feed screw. Another aspect of the universal designation is that it has both vertical and horizontal spindles. This vertical spindle can be removed to reveal the horizontal spindle, which is what I use for gear hopping. This is one of my gear hobs, a rather big one, and as you can probably see, the teeth are in a spiral, like a screw thread. This means that to cut a teeth with the right shape, you need to feed the gear blank in at an angle to suit the lead angle of the hob. The lead angle is generally engraved on the end of the hob, though you can't actually see it on the video. This one I think is 1 degree 45 seconds. What I plan on setting up is an easy way to dial in the table swing angle. To this end I've obtained this reverse reading 30mm range micrometer head. I've thought of a way to make it dial in degrees rather than millimetres. To do this I'll mount it down here, at the face where the table swings. To make my adjuster with the correct geometry, it is important to know where the pivot point is in relation to the front face of the table base. To find this point, I set up this milling, this milling arbor spacer and a dial indicator. It took me a while to figure it out, but if the spacer is too far one way in the y direction, then the needle swings in the same direction of the table rotation, and if it is on the other, on the other side of centre, it swings in the opposite direction of the table rotation. It took me a while to figure this out, uh, but eventually I got to a point where there was, was very little uh, needle movement with the rotation of the table. There was a bit of slop in the pivot as well, so it was never going to go exactly to zero. To measure the location of the centre of the spacer to the front face of the table base, I set up this arrangement of blocks. And the answer is 2 inch plus 2 inch plus 16 millimetres plus 0.3 millimetres plus half of 44.12 millimetres minus 2 inches. To get the correct geometry for the parts, I needed a 3D model. As I move this around, you can probably see why the swinging table is not as useful as it might appear for normal milling. It won't, for example, allow you to for the cutting of tapers, as regardless of the swing angle, the table moved in line with the T-slots. This is the part that I wanted to show. At small angles, the change in angle is directly proportional to the micrometer travel. And if the distance from the pivot is chosen carefully, then the table will swing 1 degree for 1 millimetre on the micrometer. The magic distance is 1 over tan of 1, which is 57.29 millimetres. Or if you were to use an imperial micrometer, you could use 5.729 inches. However, as the angle increases, the relationship breaks down. That is the purpose of the curved cam plate, which has just the right shape to compensate. The curve is constructed by this sketch, and will be different for every machine. A set of lines are constructed rotated about the pivot point. The base line is 1 over tan 1 long. Then lines of right at right angles are run out, each one 5mm shorter than the one 5 degrees away from it. Or you could use different angles or distances if you wanted to. Imagine the micrometer head swinging around on the end of the arc. A spline is then run through those points, and that becomes the profile required of the cam. The length of the first line is governed by the dimensions of the machine and the micrometer, and all the rest are calculated from that using the built-in maths functions of, of fusion.
and here we see it set to 10 degrees or 10 millimeters and showing an angle of 10 degrees which is at least promising. I've not checked it properly yet. 